Let's take a look at how to get the HEOS action up and running with your Google Assistant so you can begin controlling your HEOS enabled receiver or other HEOS devices with your voice. To get started, let's open the HEOS application. If you don't have a HEOS account yet, this is a great time to create one. Otherwise, click on the Rooms icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen. This will show you all the devices that are open on your network. Click on the pencil icon in the upper right hand corner. Choose the HEOS device that you want to connect with your Google Assistant. Now, you'll see lots of room names, and you can really name it anything you like as long as it's unique. You could call it Charlie's Room or Robbie's AVR, but in this case I think I'll just call it Living Room. The next thing we're going to do is go to the Google Home app. Click the plus icon to add something. We want to set up a device. We'll choose the link icon to link our Google Assistant with our HEOS account. You can use the search icon in the upper right hand corner to find and choose the HEOS action from the list. This will take you to a login screen where you can enter your HEOS account details. You are authorizing the Google Assistant to control your HEOS account. Once that's complete, I'm going to choose Living Room, that's my AVR, and I'm going to tell Google where that lives in my house. Not surprisingly, that's in my living room. Okay, so now I've linked my Google Home Assistant with my HEOS account. I have taken my AVR X2400H and renamed it as Living Room. And now I'm able to start a playlist on Pandora or Spotify as I normally would in my app. I can do all that and control it by voice as I listen through the day. I can control mute, unmute, play, pause, continue, next, previous track, etc. Okay, Google, continue in the living room. Hey, Google, volume 55 in the living room. So give it a try pretty cool. This early preview version is volume and transport only, but soon Google will be releasing new functionality which will allow you to use voice search to call up specific songs, albums, playlists, podcasts, etc. So that's coming soon. Try this, check it out. Very useful, very cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.